Hey, New World Defenders. Uh, this is uh, my first video upload uh, for uh, the new video, uh, the new uh, World Defenders channel. Um, so, I want to welcome uh, new members. Uh, I want to thank Chris for uh, inviting me, and uh, I also want to throw a shout out to Chris. Uh, congratulations. Um, I uh, wish you and uh, your uh, wife uh, many years of uh, wed bliss. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, my name's Jonathan Taylor. Uh, I have uh, the Freedom Father channel. If you get a chance, please check it out. Um, one of the big things that I've been working on um, for the last few months, I looked at you know, protests and flash mobs and all kinds of different uh, avenues by which we can um, awaken as many people as possible spread our message as, uh, as quickly uh, and as effectively as possible and uh, in all of my research I have come to certain conclusions um, you may or may not agree that's okay it's a free country or at least it is if you can afford it <laughs> um, but in all seriousness uh, protests you know um, they're, they're manipulated and uh, oftentimes the, the message that is uh, intended is uh, is um, is not the message that makes mainstream media uh, they kind of make it up based on uh, what's going to appease their uh, their puppet masters uh, whether they know it or not that's part of the problem we have a lot of people in powerful positions that are unaware that they are completely mind controlled and manipulated um, their ego won't allow them to realize this and they are doing far more damage uh, than good. Uh, you know, flash mobs are nice, um, you know, for a visual, uh, a visual impact. Uh, typically, uh, they are not well received and uh, they tend to um, make the participants uh, look very fringe. Um, and again, the, the media manipulates that. Um, protests, uh, they perpetuate uh, the problem by um, spending um, vast amounts of uh, money on uh, police overtime. Um, they put people in harm's way. A lot of times they cause people to be incarcerated. Um, I don't, and, and I honestly don't believe that these protests uh, have any actual effect uh, on, on the process in a, in a good way. I think there's a negative impact. Uh, by them. Uh, likewise with the flash mobs. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a, I don't want to say they're bad ideas because um, I, I don't believe that they are. I just think that they are easily manipulated and uh, the, the mainstream media uh, can pretty much just show uh, a mob of people uh, regardless of what the signs say and then make up uh, whatever they want uh, to make the participants in those um, protests and flash mobs uh, look uh, like conspiracy theorists, nutcases, or just genuinely, genuinely bad people, and it's not right. Um, what, what I have come up with, uh, and my criteria, uh, you know, to be clear here, was what is going to have uh, no cost, um, what is going to uh, eliminate the prospect of uh, incarceration, arrest, uh, police uh, interaction, and what is going to be the most time sensitive? Uh, we all have a lot on our plates. We're all being um, pushed harder and harder uh, to get less and less. Um, so the, with that criteria, I came up with 60 seconds for freedom. Uh, the basic idea is this. On July 4th, 2011, Independence Day, less than a week away, it's next Monday, uh, at noon in your time zone, stop what you're doing, walk to the middle of the nearest street, and stand there for 60 seconds, one minute. You want to hold a sign, hold a sign. You want to shout through a bullhorn, uh, do it. Don't destroy any property. Don't cause traffic jams. Don't, you know, incite riot. Just show yourself. 
just stand for what you believe for 60 seconds. Now you may look around at that time and see no one. You may be the only one on your street or whatever street you end up uh, on at that particular time. And unfortunately that is going to be the case in a lot of areas. Uh, if we get the message out, uh, which has been very difficult, um, we may end up with you know, a handful of people on your very street. People you didn't even know were like-minded. Uh, and, and also solve the problems that you see. The key is, what is your message, your freedom, this change that we all want? What's it worth? I ask simply for a minute of your time. If you consider the amount of time it takes you to walk to the middle of the street, the full minute waiting there, and the time it takes you to walk back to whatever you were doing, what's the maximum amount of time it could take? Two minutes? Three? Tops? Well, what is what what is your message worth? What is the the point of these videos and this activism that we are trying to incite? If none of us are willing to give up three minutes uh, of our uh, uh, holiday, I mean it's Independence Day, folks. We're supposed to be celebrating the independence of the United States of America from the tyrannical rule of the British Empire of the king. But if you were to take your Declaration of Independence, the very document that we use to declare our independence, and you replaced the King of England and the Crown with the US government, it would it would make complete sense today. Because all of the things that our founding fathers fought against the British Crown over, our very own government is doing to us today. So I mean, at some point what are you willing to do? Is three minutes too much time? I mean, we spend more time than that making these videos. We spend more time than that watching these videos. We spend more time than that just logging on and logging off our very own YouTube accounts. I think each one of us needs to ask ourselves a very simple question. Two very simple questions. If not us, who? If not now, when? They seem pretty simple to me. No cost, no threat of arrest. It seems like a pretty simple uh, uh, form of protest. Now I want everyone to take a minute and just envision this. It's just turning noon on July 4th, 2011 in your time zone. And a sea of people pour out into the streets in communities all over. And as noon hits the next, next time zone, it happens again. And as noon hits the next time zone, it happens again. And it gets bigger. And the media gets a hold of it. And they don't know what to do. They don't even understand why it's happening. They can't figure it out. Questions can be heard in the air all over the place. What's going on? What is this all about? And people connect. And in the communities, because that's where I think this is going to be won, at the community level. In the communities, like-minded people all over the place begin to congregate and share ideas. And they come together. Not out of anger, not out of hatred, not out of uh, uh, some, some violent riot, but out of a love for their fellow human beings out of a love for, for their very existence, out of a yearning for the truth, out of a willingness to step out into the sunlight and say, yes, I know what's going on is wrong. I know there's a better way. And with my brothers and sisters, we can make that way. Nobody can do it by themselves. No elected official can do it. They're all bought and paid for. <clears throat> most of us, most of us, have never been able to vote for someone we really believed in. Not really. We've always voted for the lesser of two evils. And that, my friends, is the saddest part of all. The lesser of two evils? So basically, you're giving me two worthless candidates and I have to pick the one that's going to do the least amount of damage? 
I think that in and of itself should speak volumes to the problem that we have today. Well, listen, I just want everyone out there to realize if you don't have three minutes for 60 seconds for freedom, if you don't have three minutes to walk out to the middle of the closest street and stand there and look around and connect with fellow like-minded people, then what are we doing? What's the point? We can wait for somebody else to do it. But that's how we got here. Everybody has to have their ability to pick up their portion of the responsibility. And if that means sacrificing three minutes of your holiday, think about the holiday that you're going to be sacrificing those three minutes from. Independence Day, folks. Well, I've tried to get this message out. You can see down in the comments here that, uh, that uh, Sniper Cross 2 and I have uh, had a little bit of dialogue on this. It's a pretty simple philosophy. And I would love to get feedback. I would love for people to give me video responses, uh, uh, PM me, uh, let me know what you're thinking. Maybe I'm missing the point. You know, I don't have all the answers. I just tried to come up with something that made the most sense to have the biggest impact for the least amount of risk, the least amount of money, and I think this is pretty much the closest I can get to fit in the bill. Again. I'm just a father and a husband who knows that what's going on out there is wrong. I don't have all the answers, but I do know the status quo is not working. It's not working at all. And if you believe that, like I do, all I ask is on July 4th, 2011, next Monday, Independence Day, you take a couple minutes out of your day, noon in your time zone, stop what you're doing. Go to the middle of the nearest street and just stand there for 60 seconds. Like I said, you want to take a bullhorn, you want to shout at the top of your lungs, you want to hold up signs, you want to invite people over and do it as a group, great. Okay, there's no wrong way to do this with the exception of violence. Because violence, that's how we got here. Violence isn't the answer. Truth, that's the answer. So, peace and love to everyone. God bless the resistance. And I look forward to July 4th, 2011. 60 seconds for freedom. Have a good one.